Very, very good caselet. Now, oh, please see here, sir. First, let us understand the diagrams and then what is given in the diagram, then we will solve it very easily. The question says study the following pie chart and bar graph and answer the following questions. First, graph that means the pie graph is telling you about percentage of students in different schools in six different schools a b c d e f the percentage of students is given and the total number of students is given as 6000 right the total number of students is given as 6000 that is the first information second bar graph is giving you about number of boys in each school separately that means can i make a road map like this saying that if i want total number of students both boys and girls then i will refer to first pie chart if i want only boys then i will refer to the bar graph not the table it is the bar graph right if i want only boys then i will refer to the bar graph right it is only boys similarly if i want only girls only girls if i want then it is pie chart minus bar graph right total out of total if i subtract boys then i will get only girls i hope the methodology or the road map till now is very very clear this should definitely strike your mind at the starting of the problem then only your problem will simplify to some extent now listen carefully sir listen to this carefully it's a very easy caselet not too much of calculations are required but let us try to solve it in whatever the best way possible the first statement is the first question is what is the total number of girls in school C? Girls C is nothing but total minus boys, right? Total minus boys. Number of girls in school E and the number of boys in school D together. Now see here, they are saying that total number of girls in school C, school C is nothing but, sorry, total number of girls in school C. That means total number of students in school C is nothing but 26 percentage of the 6000 so 26 percentage of 6000 this is the total number of students in school c from this subtract number of boys in school c number of boys in school c is it is 900 right it is 900 this will give me the girls in school c first write down everything next number of girls in school e school e is nothing but 29 percentage of 6000 right it is 29 percentage of 6000 remove the boys from school e so that you will get only girls boys from school e is nothing but it is 1200 and the last statement is number of boys in school d together in school d how many boys are there very slightly greater than 500 which should be 600 right which should be 600 now see here there are multiple ways of calculating first of all I already told you suppose for example if I take this simplification 26 percentage of 6000 means 26 by 100 into 6000 so these zeros will cancel with these two zeros or can I say in a different language saying that whenever you have percentage right whenever you have percentage remove that percentage symbol right remove that percentage symbol after two places after two places from right hand side either in this number or this number keep a decimal point right after two places keep a decimal point it is 26 into 60 right it is 26 into 60 that means remove percentage after two places from right hand side keep a decimal point this is one of the method of solving if you are good in multiplication that is the reason i told you sometime before that you should be either good in multiplication or you should be good in percentages right now that is one of the method suppose suppose if i apply percentages right if i apply percentages now see here if i apply percentages 26 percentage is what they are asking first of all 10 percentage is 600 20 percentage is 1200 1 percentage is 60 6 percentage is 6 into 60 360 1200 in plus 360 is 
1560 minus 900. How much you will get? 1560 minus 900. You will get it as 660. Right? It is 660. Similarly, if I calculate the next one, 29 I will call it as 30 minus 1. 10 percentage is 600. 30 percentage is 8, 1800. From 30 percentage, I should subtract 1 percentage. 1 percentage is 60. 1800 plus minus 60 is 1740 minus 1200 plus the last value is 600. If I simplify all these things, I will get the answer as 660. So let me write it for you people. 660 plus 540 plus 600. So 660 plus 600 is nothing but it is 1260 plus 40 is 13. 13 plus 500 is 1800. Right? 13 plus 500 is 1800. Now, this is one of the ways of solving by using percentages method. Right? This is one of the ways of solving by using percentages method, which you should definitely know to solve some of the DI caselets very easily. I am repeating once again, sir. If you are not good in percentages, if you are not good in multiplication, Please do not expect a miracle to happen overnight in DI caselets. It is not something which will never happen, right? It will not, it will not happen for sure. Either you should be good in percentages or you should be extremely good in multiplying any bigger numbers. If you are not good, please consider that you, it is difficult to solve DI caselet. This is one of the method of solving. Answer is 1800. Now, why to use all these method? There is a beautiful concept in the world of mathematics called as a digital sum. Right, it is called as digital sum. I believe that most of the students know digital sum concept. Apply digital sum concept. 26 digital sum is 2 plus 6, 8. 8 into 6,000 digital sum is 6. Minus 900 digital sum is 9. Next, 29 digital sum is 2 plus 9, 11. 11 is nothing but 2. It is 2 into 6 minus. This is 12, 1,200 digital sum is 1 plus 2, 3. 600 digital sum is 6. Again, further simplify. 8 into 6 is 48. 48 is not single digit. Again, add it. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 is nothing but 3. It is 3 minus 9 plus 2 into 6 is 12. 12 is nothing but 3. It is 3 minus 3 plus 6. If I simplify further, 3 minus 3 cancels. 6 plus 3 is 9 minus 9 cancel you are getting the value 0. Whenever you get a 0 in digital sum, 0 is nothing but 9 in digital sum concept. 0 and 9 can be interchanged in digital sum. That means digital sum in the answer option should be 9. 1700 is not 9. 1900 is not 9. 1600 is not 9. 1800 is 9. Sir, what if there is another option which is having the same digital sum 9? That is what I discussed before by using percentages. I believe it is clear, sir. Before you jump yourself to a conclusion saying that I should definitely apply percentage method for this particular question, just give a glance for the first 10 seconds or 5 seconds, however fast you are, and try to apply digital sum concept. Because if digital sum works out, nothing more beautiful than that. I believe it is clear. Apply digital sum, and if it works out, it is it is superb it is awesome if it is not working out what is the meaning of not working out if more than one option has the same digital sum then move on to a different methodology maybe maybe percentages or if you are good in multiplication multiplication whatever you want you can apply press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update